Let's have a look here. These are some standard foods we have. So you've got to try and put them in the order from the least carbon intensive to the most carbon intensive. Oh. Okay. okay. Challenge is on. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got asparagus the... or the tomatoes. They've got more acid. Okay, I think they're going to be close. Okay. I'll say I'll say milk's the highest. Milk's highest, okay. Uh, just because cows and stuff. Yeah, just um, cows. I reckon cheese goes in here, and then milk. No, I think I think they're high because because the cattle put off a lot of methane. The milk doesn't use much, does it? No, the milk comes from the cows, so they're lower. I'll put that lower. Yeah, I reckon tomatoes. I think yeah, tomatoes yeah. are of the ground because they're like hand picked and stuff. Wait, but what about beer? Are the beers there? Because. <laughs> Because that's where beer belongs. You're the optimist. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Yeah, beer glass half full, right? Oh, they can't decide. <laughs> there you go. What do you reckon? We're guessing. That's it. We're guessing. Yeah, I feel like okay. this, is, this is like a game show. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, it was a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. So now to the results. You were spot on to think the beef was big. Okay. Beef is definitely one of the biggest oh, ones. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, but it's not the biggest. It's not, quite, oh, it's not quite the biggest, okay. but you're right that that was big. Yeah. And the next one is, wow. is lamb. OK. You know why? Why? They create a lot of methane within the farm. They create lots of gases that they burp up. Oh. And that's what creates a huge footprint We didn't for them. know that. I know. See? Cows and sheep produce the greenhouse gas methane when they eat grass. It's a byproduct in their digestion process. Kangaroo, despite being the red meat, is down there. OK, because it's... Grown in Australia, right? Like it's well, they're sort of both grown in Australia, but it's got a more effective stomach. Who knew? So these create a lot of methane. Doesn't oh, create as much. Okay. okay. Yeah. And cheese, you're right, is high. Cheese is the next one there. Bizarrely though, came from the cow. Oh, oh wow! Watch this. Oh, are you kidding? I was like totally opposite. But cheese does. Milk doesn't. Don't get it. No, the reason is because you take milk out of the cow every day. So yeah. that you kind of you get the beef out okay. once in a lifetime. Yes. Okay. And that Cheese has is it's processed, so it's only the it's only a tiny bit of the milk, the fat of it that gets created into that. So it's much more milk Condensed. is required. Okay. okay. Yeah, right, that's, that's the difference. No, okay. I didn't know either. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Chicken again, you're pretty close. So chicken's got the least out of the meat. Yeah. Let's give Mum the good news. Beer's not too bad. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> that's good. OK, that goes... Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Now, that's only because it's in a greenhouse. If it wasn't... Oh. Fresh tomatoes would be over here. Most of your veggies are over here. Oh, Just got the asparagus left. Asparaguses. So which do you oh, think is right. going to be our one's top one? Well, I, I, I'm still going... I think this one, because it's... It needs, they need to make them, make them metal, which involves mining it and melting it down. And... Oh, I'm going to say tin. I'll be very surprised if that's the highest. You'd be surprised if that's the highest? Yeah. I just said. Is that the... Wow. Why? I'm amazed. Oh, oh. no! Asparagus! <laughs> oh, because that has to fly. Oh. And that goes on a boat. Well done! Oh. Oh. OK, OK. One of them would have been brought by boat and one of them by plane. Oh, OK. We didn't tell you that. And the reason we didn't tell you that is that when you go to a supermarket, it also we doesn't tell you that. Tell you. That's right. That's exactly okay. right. Good, though. Okay. Very clever. Yeah. OK. It looks like that, that asparagus must have come first class or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I know. Some very happy asparagus. So unless your diet is mainly air-freighted fresh asparagus, it's beef and lamb that are creating the most greenhouse gases. Pork, around a third as much as beef, while kangaroo and chicken produce less than 20%. Locally grown fruit and veg has a relatively small impact on our food carbon footprint. So we should look at this when we shop and buy seasonal and locally grown products to support our Aussie farmers.